in this problem we're going to be thinking about determinants. So this is a really interesting problem and so pretty much what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out is the determinant of this matrix positive or negative and we don't want to use technology. So I encourage you to kind of pause this video for a second and try it out yourself. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you gave it a good go. Um, so what can we notice about this matrix? Um, essentially, we know that there's gonna be uh, this term, whatever this term is, is gonna be our biggest, um, our biggest term for sure, and it's gonna outweigh everything else. So if this is positive, then the whole determinant is going to be negative, or it's going to be positive. And if this is negative, the whole determinant is going to be uh, negative. So how do we determine whether or not this is going to be positive or not? So what we need to do is we need to look at inversions. So this is one inversion. This is two inversions. This is three inversions, and this is four inversions. So all the red lines are the inversions. So what do we know? If the inversion number of inversions, uh, is uh, even, then the term is positive. Then positive. Um, so otherwise, if it's odd, it's going to be negative. So in this case, this term, since there's a positive or there's a even number of inversions, uh, this uh, will be um, positive. So that's it.